All right, everyone, Sheila Jackson Lee just kicked the bucket. She had the radish, bought the farm, and croaked. Yes, indeed, she was a fighting cancer, and, you know, she fought the law, and the law won, I suppose, on that one. Um, link in the description archived, of course, you can read about that. It's, it's big in the news right now, and a long-standing member of the House of Representatives. Also, a significant TDS sufferer. Now, people have talked a lot about the Trump curse, and I would like to weigh in slightly as an occultist, as somebody who believes in literal magic uh, on the subject. The Trump curse is real. It does exist. It's very mimetic in form. It's the result of the collective effort of a monumental number of people who are magically minded. That's the long and short of it. Um, effectively, when you're fucking around with Trump, at this point, you're fucking around with a mimetic archetype of the United States itself. Um, that's not a good idea to do, by the way. I see people like they randomly cast spells all the time and they don't even know what they're doing. Do you know where the term spell comes from? Literally to spell, like spell a word. The term grimoire is nothing more than a francified version of grammar. <laughs> spell books are literally nothing more than grammar books. Spells are just incantations and shit that are given artificial meaning and are meant to produce a certain result. Should probably make an entire video about this for the occult playlist, but I gotta get to the uh, Beast of Jevedon Redux actually for the Gray School of Wizardry at some point. It's just uh, there's so much politics and current events to cover right now, I, I, I don't have time to get to it. I don't want to flood the uh, algorithm, so to speak. Sheila Jackson Lee was nothing more than a standard liberal that had TDS. She is basically a generic member of the House Democrats when you think about it. It's like, insert random liberal Democrat with id poll overlapped on them here. Hey, it's Sheila Jackson Lee. It's also dozens of other people. Very, very generic, actually. Uh, I'm not taking any particular celebration in her death or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. I mean, hate the ideology, but I don't have any animus towards herself. It's not like when John McCain died and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you know, when certain politicians croak, you kind of celebrate. You might not uh, shitpost about it publicly, but quietly you enjoy a little chuckle. I don't have enough feelings about Sheila Jackson Lee to uh, get a chuckle out of it. And it's like, you know, family's sad and feel sorry for them, I suppose. Um, didn't do huge damage or anything like that. Again, unlike John McCain <laughs> or certain other people. And it's like chuckle mode. Uh, but definitely, ideologically speaking, just a standard liberal. Uh, leaning towards the leftoid end of liberalism uh, with the id poll, of course, because she happened to be a black female. And that's the reason why. Uh, it depends on your congressional district whether you should do that or not. Uh, when we see the squad speak, the geek squad, you know, the, the formerly the Gang of Four, it's because they represent far blue districts. And Sheila Jackson Lee, definitely her district, not exactly the most Republican friendly. So, you know, there's a reason for the extra layer of liberalism there. But the Trump curse is real. You know, she came out literally the other day. Well, she probably didn't post it. She had her staff post it. Talking about Trump's RNC speech and how it was incoherent. We have to defeat this man. Oh my God, it was terrible. He's racist and evil. He's Adolf Satan, basically. Uh, we hear this a lot from certain Democrat partisans. And then she just randomly croaks. Hmm, interesting how that happens. It's happened a number of times before, you will see. Uh, you can find some examples. Just Google the Trump curse at some point and uh, you can look it up for yourself. So yeah, Sheila Jackson Lee is dead. It's another uh, house seat the Democrats are going to have a little problem with. In fact, that could flip the House, actually. The Republicans right now are poised to do okay with regards to House seats, but they're not really poised to do anything monumental. Any seat that they can potentially grab, therefore, and they probably can't grab the seat anyway, let's face it, the Republicans, uh, is, is a godsend to them because it's going to be close, I have a feeling. I favor them to take the Senate, you know, which is good, and of course I favor Trump to win at this point. <laughs> that, that, that's, uh, the, the writing is on the wall. With regards to the House, though, it's, um, I mean, the Republicans started off with, what, a seven-seat majority and now it's down to two or something? And they fucked themselves in the ass, but they're Republicans, so, you know, this is expected. The, the old moniker is the Democrats are the evil party, and the Republicans are the stupid party. 
As far as neocon versus neoliberal, I would say that they're both evil, and that the fringe of the left is, is evil and dumb, and the fringe of the right, which has now taken over the party, is reasonably intelligent. Uh, I would agree if uh, you're talking about Mitt Romney or John McCain, somebody like that. So yeah, Sheila Jackson Lee is now uh, down uh, six feet below the earth. Or maybe she got cremated. I doubt that, though, because it's not environmentally friendly. That's about all. Peace out.